Hello lovelies, this is Louise. Um, so this is my second video on my deck collection. Um, I just did one on my Illumin and Gillow decks. Now I will do a video on my um, Ivrino decks. Um, let's start out with the Piamadeni, which is I think my most used deck by Yves Renault, reproduced by Yves Renault. Um, this is the guy, this is our King of, of Batons. The deck is from 1709 and um, Tarot uh, de Marseille Heritage, um, which is the, um, the website um, and the name of the, uh, the company. They do uh, limited um, editions and this is number 466 as you can tell here. Um, this one was made in um, Dijon in France and reproduced by Yves Renault. I just adore this deck. When you receive your decks um, you get uh, a greeting, bonjour Louise, um, from uh, from Eve, and um, well, cards are bigger than most um, Il Menengelo decks. It's a different kind of cardstock. It's more sort of uh, slippery. It's um, it's uh, bigger and and simply very different. Um, this is the back of the deck. Um, I used or have used this Madinu deck so much. I mean it was the first deck that I got from um, from Yves Renault and yeah it still is actually my most used one. Um, we just click really well, me and Monsieur Pierre Madinu. For some reason, um, beautiful colours, beautiful, beautiful colours. Very sort of um, yeah, basic. Uh, look at this beautiful star woman. The little bird in the tree. <laughs> L'étoile. Lovely. Um, I really, I really appreciate the faces of, of this deck. Um, here we have the Empress, as you can tell. See? I love their expressions. Um, they're not too gloomy, you know. Um, <laughs> here we have our death. Um, this is the uh, Knight of Swords. Him and his horse, I mean, aren't they just great? Or her, you never know. You never know who's under that armour. Um, lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> Here we have a valet, a page. Um, very sort of um, like a, a dark green colour. And that makes the stick sort of earthy for me and very. Ah, practical. Here is the Bedler. Really love the faces. Um, mm, mm. Oh my god. La Lune. Lovely, lovely dick. Um, oh, uh, my queen of baton. Look at her. Isn't she just, I mean, wouldn't you like to talk with her, you know, she's just, like a, an appealing creature, an appealing face. Oh, well, 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 lovely, 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 lovely. Here are some pips for you. Yeah. So. Ones. One of the French decks by Yves Renault. 
Um, oops. Next one is a Swiss stick. No, actually, you know what? Let's just do them in um, chronological order. This one is the uh, Jean-Pierre Payon from 1713. Um, was made in Avignon, France, by Mr. Payon. Um, the deck uh, was created by, let's have a look, um, yeah, this was the Maître, right? Maître Cartier. Um, and then who actually engraved them? Was that also him? Because that, I mean, I am often a little bit confused, you know, who actually orders it, or sort of who is in charge and who actually does the engravings. That's always a little bit um, confusing to me. Oh, yeah. It is probably, oh, is it in English here? Okay, yeah, it even says here. Um, um, it was probably engraved by Claude Merme, or Mermi, born in Chambry, and son of a master card maker. Yes, so um, Payon didn't himself engrave these, this deck, um, and I think it's like that with most of the decks. I mean, I'm not even sure who actually engraved the Pierre Madinier deck. Let's have a look. I mean, why don't we ever mention those guys? Because no, they were apparently guys at the time doing that. Um, <clears throat> Master card maker in Dijon uh, is Pierre Madigny, Sir Pierre Madigny, of course. <clears throat> um, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Doesn't really say here. Doesn't really say. Well, um, anyways, let's get back to the Bayon. You see, this is a quite different deck. Our faces are different. Um, I hope you can see the colour of the deck, although it's getting a bit dark around here. Um, Facial expressions are different. Um, it's more rough. It's, this is a tarot type one feature, the blindfolded uh, cupid. And um, you can see, you know, look at the face here. Well, it's stoned. <laughs> if you may speak like that about the justice card. Hermit. And <laughs> this it's the funny. Le bon du. Um have a look at him. Yeah, let's have a look at the other side you see. And as well this is a type one feature. Um okay I won't go much more into the decks. Here is again the Queen of Batons. Guys, I love details. That's my problem. And I could speak forever and ever about details, small details in all those decks, but that won't do. That won't be a very good idea. <laughs> and as usual, we have the Jean-Pierre Payon. I know uh, 1713, 1713 um, engraved here in the Two of Coins, as usual in the Tarot de Marseille style decks. Here you have the pips, Ten of Coins, and um, your usual horse and colts here, um, the coins. Also very bold <laughs> colours, um, and uh, here we see the cups. Beautiful colours, but they all are. I mean, all the colours are beautiful. The palette just varies a bit, and um, so it really depends on what you 
prefer if you are interested in, in getting achieving some of these um, decks. Um, and just for the record, I am not receiving any sort of money from Yvonne <laughs> to promote his decks. This is purely out of um, private appreciation of, of the work they're doing there. Um, so, Tarot Claude Biodel, 1751. This deck was, um, I was very much looking forward to this one. Um, this is very close to being, it's 14 decks from being the um, number 3000, and I might, yeah, so this is <laughs> apparently one of the last ones, or, although, you know, maybe even or just grabbed one um, by chance, you know. The Sun card in this deck is one of my favourite Sun cards ever, and a very uh, good reason for me to get this deck. <laughs> I love this one. Um, this deck is so very, very um, party-like as well. You know, it's, like it's um, it's very. You see the phoenix. It's so decadent and like an explosion of of um, colours and ornaments and flowers. <laughs> um, it's really very, very. Um, gorgeous and the colours are very bright um, almost like emerald some of it um, you see this emerald colour oh. the very smart thing that Yves Renaud does is that when you receive a deck you also receive hang on, you also receive um an extra little card. I think I think we have one in here. I don't know where I put the others. You receive an extra little card, as I just showed you, and this is <clears throat> this is from the Biodel. And when I saw this this card, I thought, I mean, this color. It's so lovely. You can just eat it, right, or swim in it. And that's a clever way. Of promoting your other decks because you're like oh I need the rest of it you know <laughs> um, yeah so um, Claude Bedel made in Switzerland in Fribourg 1751 um, oh, very heavy decks those decks by Eve the Tarot Claude de Rouchières. This is one of the uh, newer decks that uh, was reproduced um, from 1754 in Switzerland as well. So this one was made just three years after this other one um, in Saint Sulpice. Um, oops. An even bigger deck. Love the backs of this deck. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. See, this is a very new one. I got number 71 out of 1500 uh, copies. Um, and this one is special because it has sort of, oh, it's big. It's really big. Have a look. Like, it's huge. Right. <laughs> I mean, what can I use? Um, what do we have? We have like the Tarot de Fuego. Let's just um, compare it with one of those cards that has a more sort of standard um, size. Um, see? It's bigger. Definitely bigger. And thicker. <laughs> um, and this one is, is pretty long. As well, it's it has those those special features um, because you can tell here that there is a sort of uh, little um, a little um, a shadow sort of um, left over by some other decks that had been apparently sort of almost um, that sort of. Uh, 
uh, mingled with the image and um, and several of the cards have that which makes it even more lovely doesn't it I love so-called mistakes I love that I can't have it too cleaned up that's I just I just don't use those decks that are too cleaned up beautiful color as well this blue my goodness and the red in this deck is extraordinary <laughs> Look, I love that um, another feature that is special about this deck is that um, the uh, trumps are reversed or at least some of them I don't remember if it's all of them oh, I love them this one is not reversed hope um, Oh, the red in the stick is like wow and look at it <laughs> doesn't he just look self-confident look at my big stick look at what I found <laughs> um, it's a little bit you know messy um, <laughs> and the uh, the paint was put on in a bit sort of not so accurate way, um, which I find very charming. Um, <laughs> the lovers, you see, the face is almost a little bit like squeezed, you know. It's quite funny. Yeah. And he's going like, oh, no, no, no. No, I was just, we were just talking, Mama. <laughs> King of Wands. Oh, wow. Again, the red colour. Incredible. Some pips. Mm, incredible. And so those are the pips that have been um, stylized in the sort of usual uh, way um, that a traditional Marseille deck would have its pips arranged. Lovely. Yes. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's move on to the next, the next one and last one. This one. Tao Arnaud et Info 1801. This is sort of, yeah, a cubist deck in a way. <laughs> it's not cubist, but it's, uh, it's from Marseille. This is a true Marseille tarot, so to say. Um, cards. Yeah, this is one. This is 88 out of 1500. I ordered this one together with the um, Oshias. Um, as soon as I heard that, that a new deck <laughs> was out. <laughs> Um, you see, the light blue in this deck is wonderful, and I've come to really like it more than I thought I would. Um, this one is very is more precisely painted or layered with paint, and um, um, faces are a bit funny as some of the Marseille decks tend to um, to show um, and in the beginning I, I really found them bizarre I really couldn't see the beauty in them and then when I got to know more about the <laughs> well honestly okay this emperor is quite hilarious look at his his face <laughs> what's all, what's going on he looks like he's been awake for three days in a row doesn't he Oh my god, he's really on guard. He's really taking his job seriously. Um, yeah, so in the beginning I wasn't that... I wasn't that... Um, I didn't appreciate the style um, of those engravings, but then I got to know more about the process of actually making the decks and what actually went into making I must say deck or a deck at the time and um, and that 
honestly really changed my my um, my view and it sort of changed my understanding and my perception of the aesthetics of the Marseille decks or Marseille styled decks um, and now yeah we're in the 18th century with those decks and um, and um, they have so many similarities and yet again such different expressions um, and that's why I that's how I justify buying <laughs> decks that for the outsider might seem very much the same you know same themes and all that but but again it's um, when you really get into it and go into details and and start studying your things then you you start to appreciate the small details that make up the decks each deck you know and um, wow ten of swords always a good one yeah see all the beautiful details down here in the stone on the throne the stone throne that he's sitting on um, this is a very clear deck um, again we have some sort of phoenix here as we just saw in the um, in the Bordel in the four coins um, the light blue color in this deck is like nothing else I've seen it's beautiful Marvelous, marvelous. Our two little fish up here. <laughs> As always, oh, I love this one, the three. The red and the light blue together. It's like, oh, it's candy for grown up people. Oh, look. Look at the, uh, um, the cup suit absolutely absolutely marvelous also with this um, thing in his head I don't remember what, what it's called gorgeous again you know contrasting the blue and the red is just um, it has such a vibrant vital effect um, so yeah that was the Arnaud et Hanfou from 1801. So, yeah, this is okay, one year into the uh, 19th century to be correct. Um, guys, that was it. I'll be back for a follow up on the rest of my um, collection of historical hip decks and uh, Tarot de Marseille style decks. Take care, meanwhile. Ciao!